Alright guys, welcome back to another The Killer Nacho Wi-Fi battle. And this time I have a battle here against Septimus, who is a uh, long-term viewer in the stream. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, play. There you can see our teams, and uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. Getting right on into it, and uh, yeah, he is May, which is not an unusual name on this game, but uh, whatever, yo. Either way, he leads with Star Raptor, which is a Pokemon that is... Uh, Super scary, uh, due to its high attacks down and its, uh, tendency to be banded. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and U-turn. I actually thought that he would switch, thinking that I'm a Scarf one, not wanting to take an Iron Head and a, uh, probable flinch. But he ends up making a good play and actually just stays in and U-turns himself. Um, I end up going out into my Landorus and I'm just going to get the Intimidate. And, um, yeah, now he is going to be able to switch in something that checks my Landorus, which, uh, is a good play. And he does go into Politoed with, uh, Drizzle, of course. And, um... Yeah, Polytoad is super cute, so I really don't want to stay in, so I'm just going to U-turn again. And, um, yeah, three U-turns in a row. Either way, uh, I am a choice banded, uh, Landorus, actually, so, um, I end up doing a decent chunk there. And I'm just going to go into Ferrothorn, knowing that I can come in and just pretty much take anything this, Fer uh, you know, this, uh, Toad wants to do. He's going to go for the Scald, and unfortunately he does get the bird, which, um, uh, is kind of unfortunate, um... Not super unfortunate, since Ferrothorn, you know, is not really so much of an attacker, but all of his attacking moves are physical, so it is going to uh, hurt me, especially with the residual damage, which Ferrothorn has a hard time dealing with due to the lack of a reliably, uh, reliable recovery move. Anyway, I'm just going to take this opportunity to set up Stealth Rocks as he goes back out into his Star Raptor, which um, does threaten me due to his uh, ability to have close combat. Um, but basically, he can go for anything here, including a Brave Bird, so I just end up staying in, and, um, yeah, I just take a Brave Bird, except I don't, because I die. That just shows you the power of, uh, Choice Banded Star Raptor there, that Brave Bird taking me out, and, um, yeah, does a ton of damage, although I am able to get some damage back on him, thanks to my ability and, uh, his recoil, so... I'm just going to go into Frostlass now. This is a Choice Scarf Frostlass. I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam to take this annoying thing out, so at least I don't have to deal with Star Raptor anymore. So he goes out into Galvantula now, which, um, I know in uh, past plays he likes to use Galvantula and he likes to use Sticky Web. I'm just going to stay in and go for the Ice Beam. I know it's probably not going to kill him. He's probably going to get Sticky Web, which is actually really bad for me. I didn't carry a Rapid Spinner or a uh, Defogger, so um, I have no way to get rid of that, and uh, a lot of my Pokemon... A lot of his Pokemon rely on that, so um, it's not very good for me, uh, considering I do have quite a few speedy Pokemon on this team. So he goes into Metagross here, and uh, I am locked into Ice Beam, so I am going to have to switch out. I go out into Keldeo, not really because I think Keldeo can do much to Mega Metagross, but because I really have nothing better to switch into. Um, but yeah, he's just going to Mega Evolve here, and uh, what does he do? I don't even remember. He uh, just goes for an Iron Head, so thank God for that. I'm Kind of curious why he's using Iron Head instead of, um, you know, Meteor Mash, but I guess he likes the accuracy. Either way, he does have Thunder Punch as well, and that is going to take out my Keldeo, which I am quite sad about. This is my sad face. Meh. So I go into Landorus, and he is going to outspeed me, because Meta Metagross is actually pretty fast, but I know that he's not going to be able to kill me after my Intimidate, and I'm just going to try to kill this thing. He is going to Gliscor, which is more or less an obvious play. And, um, yeah, that was a good play, but, uh, I risked that I was willing to tank, and it ended up hurting me there. So, I am gonna have to switch out. I am locked into Earthquake. I go out into my Jirachi again, hoping that he, well, didn't think he would, uh, go for an Earthquake of his own, obviously, since I am a Flyer. And he's actually just gonna knock me off, which really does kind of hurt, because now I no longer have my Choice Scarf. So, now my Jirachi is sitting here, not being able to outspeed really anything due to his Sticky Web, and the fact that I lost my Choice Scarf, which is really not in the position Jirachi wants to be. So I go back into Landorus now, and I get the Intimidate, and, um, yeah, now I can switch up my moves. He ends up just going for the uh, Stealth Rock. I really don't have much to do to this thing. I think I carried a little too many physical Pokemon on this team. Um, the one thing I really have to do to this is my, um, my Frostlass, but, um, obviously he does have the Resistance to Ice as well. And, um, yeah, I can't really risk switching it in due to that fact that this thing has Stone Edge, which, uh, really, really, really would hurt Frostlass. So I go into my Low Pony now, which is my Mega. Unfortunately, I do take that Speed, uh, debuff, which really hurts Mega Low Pony due to the fact that Mega Low Pony does rely on its speed quite a lot. And, uh, he is going to switch out here, um, thinking that I might have Ice Punch, and I do. And I was kind of hoping that I could get it off on it, and, um, I know it wouldn't probably kill, but still... 
Anyway, he ends up predicting it and ends up going into his Politoed, which is a very good play, as I just Mega Evolve. Actually, I, I think I just go for the Fake Out this turn, obviously, because this is my first turn out. So yeah, I do go for the Fake Out. And uh, that is that. Now I'm just going to go for a return, um, figuring that I just want to kill this thing, and uh, yeah, at least the Politoed goes down, he can no longer accept Drizzle, although his team really isn't a uh, rain team, so it doesn't really matter that much. Except for this Mana Fee, by the way, and um, yeah, he's going to get off a Tail Glow, and I am effed, basically, because that is uh, basically in the rain, this thing is going to outspeed me due to his uh, Sticky Web, I am in serious trouble. And, um, yeah, he's just gonna scald and kill my, uh, Megalopony, which is not great. Now, here I make a dumb play. I pretty much have this game lost, but... Because I do need, um, my Frostlass to be able to take care of the Metagross and the Gliscor at this point. I end up going out into Landorus for some reason. I think I just derped and thought that my thing was Scarfed, even though I know that it's Banded, um... Even if I... well, if I was Scarfed, I would have outsped, but, uh, I am Banded, so that's really fantastic. And now I'm just going to go into the only thing I really could have done, and that's just go into my uh, Frost Lass and just Destiny Bomb this thing um, to kill it. But um, that's kind of what I wanted to do to Metagross, to be honest. And um, it was really my only way to kill that Metagross, and uh, I needed to keep an Ice move for Gliscor. So I basically lost at this point, but at least I'm going to be able to take out this Manaphy due to the Destiny Bond. Thank God for small miracles, but um, now I really don't have much to do to those uh, two Pokémon. So, uh, yeah, I just go back into my Jirachi, which uh, really can't do anything to any of them. And, uh, yeah, he just ends up going into Metagross. I'm just going to go for a Fire Punch, even though it's actually weakened in the rain. But I um, really don't have anything better to do. Especially since he's going to outspeed me now and just Thunder Punch me, I guess. Which uh, kind of hurts. I end up getting the burn on the Fire Punch, but... Uh, he is going to be able to kill me at this point anyway, so that is a good game there. Septimus, going to have to do it again sometime. Sticky Web, really uh, showing its stuff in this battle. I think it was the deciding, it was the turning point of this match, to be honest. Um, but it just shows its potential as a uh, hazard. Um, the only really bad thing about it is the Pokemon that get it is, uh, you know, very rather limited. Galvantula is the, probably the highlight of them. Anyway, so today's question of the day is this. Okay, so today's question of the day, uh, leave in the comments what your top wishlist is for uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. What what is the most like? What is the most important thing to you about this game? As for me, my biggest wishlist is a harder uh, single player and uh, more interesting single player game. So basically, get rid of that EXP share. You know, you, if you wanted to add Universal EXP share to all your Pokemon, yeah, it's useful. Do it at the end of the game. Let us have a challenging uh, single-player experience. Anyway, so uh, leave a comment about that, and I'll see you guys again next time. Later.